Hello and welcome back to update 1.56. We are still beta testing, so what you see in this video today may not be what goes in the live version, but for now, it looks like it will. We're going to talk about this new assault rifle, the 9A91. And this weapon, I'm very excited because it has so many changes that you're probably going to see in more weapons. Very first thing, the sight. We have this brand new one that is pretty cool, the Kemper XL. It, it has a pretty good view, and this one is going to be the best one for this particular category. So yes, some decent gadgets because the other one looks good, but this one looks pretty good too. When it comes to the grip, of course, we're gonna go with the CQBL1. That is the new one. That is the best one moving forward. More than likely, it'll stay like that for a while. Now, here's the difference. When it comes to the barrel, we have this new one, the Aerohex HS. It's pretty cool, but it's not the most powerful one. But you could go with the Osprey, which is the best one. But this one, a lot of people didn't like the fact that, you know, it silences the weapon and you don't hear the bullets. That other one will allow you to hear the bullets and still be powerful. But the Osprey will be the best one. So I'm still going to go for the Osprey. The Karstis Drum will, of course, be the best one for this particular category. And if you haven't noticed already, there's more categories. <laughs> uh, when it comes to the ammo, you see the difference right here. You can go with the regular one, which is doesn't really do anything. Or you can go do this one. It says when hit. You see on the right, they reduce the speed of the enemy's movement. That's a pretty cool effect. Or you can use this one when hit. They have a chance to inflict increased damage on the enemy. I'll show you both today in this video, so make sure you watch the entire video. But I'm going to start with the electric one because it's uh, it's at the beginning, right? <laughs> Here's the difference as well in the next category. Now you can buy a grip or uh what do you call it the, the back end of the weapon um you can go with the light star you can see on the right lightweight balances pretty much helps with the accuracy of the weapon which is pretty cool Twenty thousand gold or we can move on to the next one which also helps with the balancing of the weapon but what it does is it makes it comfortable with the large number of points of contact thus reducing the recoil so this one helps with the recoil so let's recoil or you can go with this one the mba3 uh at this point uh, it does help as well it doesn't have yet uh, a description for it but it helps the weapon and i'm gonna go with this one i'm gonna put the thirty thousand gold and you have the keychains now so it's completely up to you this does not change the performance of the weapon in any way whatsoever this is simply just for look so pick as you choose it's up to you uh i like the racer's helmet so i'll go with that one again it doesn't change anything five thousand gold but let's do it and when it comes to the camouflages, we have the space race, which comes for free uh, in the battle pass. So um, I'm, I'm going to choose it. I like it. I like the way it looks. So we're going to take that one or you can choose the regular ones. Again, doesn't change the performance of the weapon. Now, many of you watching this video right now are not subscribed. So do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. It's not hard. Give us a like. Why not? You're already there, right? <laughs> and hit the notification bell so that you get stay in tune with the rest of our coming videos. And this assault rifle is a premium weapon, so it is not going to use many points plus 40 with only 124 points now this is something that i'm noticing with the weapons and beta testing is that they don't require a lot of points so that's amazing let's look at it damage is now 516 amazing fire rate 1000 and 11.6 dispersion 4.5 distance is 23 and ammo is 27 out of 81 so yes you heard me say in the last video that we are improving every single weapon to create a balance that's amazing. I'm going to use the Mask of the Hunter because of the health, the plus 10% headshot damage, and the running speed of 12%. And yes, I'm going to use the new character agent because, uh, let's just face it, she looks good. <laughs> now, I'm going to use the Gloves of the Hunter. The What's really going to help us out is that Vampirism. Many of you have been asking for these gloves. They're amazing. They're coming in this season. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Check out the video in the description below. Armor of the Hunter, because of the Bloodlust, it increases the damage as you keep going further and killing more. So... That's going to make sense. Kevlar boots because of the running speed of 16%. Yes, the snow boots are better, but I don't have them in beta testing. So <laughs> for now, we're going to use the Kevlar boots. You can see the weapon with the skills. And what we're wearing damage is 564. Distance is 3.7. Fire rate is now 1116.3. Headshot damage 1173. That is amazing. Running speed is 40%. This weapon is light. Reload speed 136%. This weapon is phenomenal and it's amazing do not go anywhere watch the rest of the video and again don't forget to turn the notification bell on for those videos that are coming up we'll see you in the next one
Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught.